Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to the book club. Today I'm going to review the book which is not connected with endometriosis but is the book about the self-healing so I thought I'm going to include it here because there's some things which I don't understand and maybe if if you are actually expert in this field you can explain it to me so I can explain to others maybe. That's why I'm doing this uh, book. So it's basically practical Ayurveda. Find out who you are and what you need to bring balance to your life. And it includes the food and home remedies. There you go. That's the book over here. It's beautiful book. It's a really, really beautiful book. It's very, very uh, big, like thin, thick. And what it got inside is basically an uh, introduction to the doshas, which is the vata, uh, pitta, and kapha. kapha. And then they've got some kind of a, um, quiz you can take to find out which one you are, literally. And I did this quiz. And you know what show up? That I'm a little bit of mix. I'm Pita and Kappa at the same time. I don't know how is that even possible. And Vata almost, because I had almost the same amount of points with all of them. So it's kind of confusing when you ask me, because then the book tells you that the Vata mind and the body, you know, they have all the characteristics. And because I'm a little bit of everything, you know, without a one being like dominant form, I could actually see myself in every single one of them. And that's very confusing because I um, was like, mm, okay, so what? I'm all three of them. And then this book actually walks you through the daily routine. So it uh, depends on which uh, characteristics you are. This is what they suggest your days look like from the moment when you wake up to the 2 in the morning, 6 in the morning, and 10 p.m., basically. Which, obviously, I didn't follow because I see myself in all of them. So it was very difficult for me to follow. What else is God? It's got the, all the lifestyle, which includes the starting of the day, foods and meal times and the meal plan for every single one of the categories, uh, yoga and meditation exercises, physical exercises, activity and the plans for the end of the day, which is absolutely great. The thing what I like uh, is... Um, just a second, guys. The things what I like was uh, recipes. There's a lot of nice recipes, and some of them are actually anti-inflammatory. Uh, for example, baked uh, sweet potatoes. I really love that. And I tried it at home, and believe me or not, it worked. Because all you have to do is just put them to the oven. And, you know, even I could do that. Uh, you've got the foods for pita, foods for vata. Uh, you've got all the rundown through all the spices. What else, guys? You've got the desserts, which I had to skip because sadly uh, the, the suggested desserts are very highly inflammatory. So I would not recommend that for us and the girls. Uh, you've got the uh, rundown through the yoga, so you've got all the yoga positions and it's explained like what they actually do and uh, how you can benefit from them. Uh, you've got the powers of the mantras, the focusing on re relaxation a lot, the power of visualization. Uh, the tapping as well, which was very, uh, very uh, unusual for me. I didn't expect the tapping in this book. So it basically depends on uh, which, um, which, which one are you, Vata, Pita or Kappa. It's basically the different points on your wrist you should be tapping at. Yes, you've got some medicines and the home remedies. And the home remedies, you've got, for example, remedies for eyes, hair, skin, tooth, and things like that. But these remedies are like just common sense, you know, guys. Like, I didn't discover anything there, to be honest. Like, for example, for the fever, 
uh, and the headache, they said drink one cup of hot water with two tablespoons of lemon juice in the morning and before going to bed. Hmm. Really? Really? My grandma in Poland actually told me that. So it didn't, you know, if you think you're going to discover the new America with this book, you, you will not. So from one to ten, I'm going to give this book three just because it's beautifully made and it's got the hard cover and the pictures are amazing and it's a lot of good information but three because it's so bloody confusing i don't know which one i am yeah like you know and it's actually affects me reading the book because i don't know if they're talking about me or not so guys i don't really know if you are actually expert on ayurveda please let me know how to even interpret this book and what you think i actually saw a lot of um testimonials of the girls who benefit from uh, this ayurveda diet and i cannot see how because it's you know sometimes it's contradicting with anti-inflammatory diet so i don't really see how is that possible i don't say it's not possible just because i don't understand something it doesn't mean it's not working it just means i don't understand it so if you are a specialist on ayurveda please let me know what you think about it so if you would like to get this book i'm just going to link it in the comment section below so you can just get it if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe and share it with others and soon i'm gonna do the massive giveaways in the end of book club so i'm gonna give away a books uh for you guys just absolutely for free so just uh keep it in mind as always i will see you in monday